What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is JD, and I'll be telling you guys how to chop your vocals on at Bell Studio. So, as before, I did a previous video on how to make your voice sound a little bit nicer in FL Studio, and that received some positive feedback, so I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to the next step, and that is chopping up and making your voice as malleable as possible, making it in all sorts of melodies. And there's two ways of doing this, okay? So, let's go ahead and open up FL Studio. And if you remember in the previous video, and if you guys didn't watch the previous video, the link will be down in the description below on how to make your voice sound nice and how I did everything step by step. I used Audacity to uh, record a vocal sample that my girlfriend had done and the same samples used in my previous video. So you just use Audacity. I saved it to a folder called Audio Clips and you're just going to pull the WAV file down to um, FL Studio. Also, if you're going to go and export something from Audacity, just as a little heads up, all right. Here. If you're going to go and export something from Audacity, so here I saved, I'm going to save my file and export it. So if I go and export it, make sure it is um, not the GSM 6.10 Wave Mobile. Make sure it's the Wave Microsoft signed 16 bit. For some reason, this one sounds really fuzzy. Um, I, this could be different for other people, but if just make sure you export it as the wave Microsoft sign 16. Okay. So if you do that and I'll just put this as sample one. Okay. Um, let's go into my folder. I'm going to save it to, um, music or actually, no, I'm going to save it into audio clips. Okay, save it as a sample. Okay, always test out the sample before you start working out with it um, or working with it because if it sounds bad, that's going to create problems. Okay, so if I find sample one here, if you're going to go and export something, okay, so that sounds perfect. All right, um, you know, we'll just X out of that. So you save it just like that. And we're going to drop an audio clip that we saved from Audacity and put it right here. Um, where am I? Here we go. So if I go into my main drive, go into audio clips. Um, I use birds as the sample last time. This time I'm going to do a different one that's part of the same song. It's called Feeling Good. It, it, it really doesn't matter. It's just a different audio clip. I'm going to get rid of these just so I can free up some space. Just right click and hit delete. Okay. So all you have to do is literally just drag it into the, um, the channel rack here. Okay. So this was covered in my previous video as well. So I'm not going to go too much into detail. All right. So now we're at the part, I mean the part where we're gonna start slicing up the vocals and chopping it up. Ironically enough, there is a um, plugin called SliceX, and all you have to do is click the little plus button here, go down to drum, go to SliceX, all right? I'm gonna open up this little plugin, okay? Go back to your audio clip or whatever you saved it as, okay? I'm gonna pull in a little sample here all right and it automatically like magic just chops it up for you and you'll see here in this red highlighter region is all the notes it chopped up all these are just dummies these don't um, these aren't used because the sample isn't long enough okay so okay so there you go, you have your slice samples, okay, but how do you use these, all right? So say if you wanted um, a particular part of the sample that you just wanted to use, say for instance, right here or something, if you just wanted that E, and you just want that E, you can move these little markers, and it'll change the length of the marker to be in that particular part of the sample that you want, okay? So whenever you use Slicex, it just, uses um, for some reason the, the piano roll and chops it all up okay so 
you just click on the piano roll, hit Control A to select all of them, and just delete them. All right, so now you have all your markers here. <laughs> I like that one, and I like that one. Um, so you kind of have to just play around with the markers here to see what sounds best to you, um, what kind of notes you want to use for making a melody. And now it's like, okay, great. Now you just you can just repeat the same note over and over again. But um, what good is that going to do you if you can't really make too much of a melody out of the same note? So. What I like to do is you go over here to velocity, click this little drop down arrow, go to note fine pitch. Now granted this is not the most fundamental way to go about this because you have to literally go by ear to see what sounds good. I'm sure there's some sort of way or method to go about this fine pitching to make it sound um, like on actual keys, but as far as it goes, it's referred to as in sense. You'll see right here, keep an eye right here, okay? When I put my mouse down into the fine pitch area, it's it's all labeled in sense. So it gives you some sort of um, location as to where the pitch is for each individual note. So um, for instance, let's see how this sounds. Okay, so if you want to make one higher, you know, you could just place it wherever. You kind of have to sit here and listen to which one is going to sound best. Okay, I kind of like that sound. So if you want to copy and paste this exact same pitch, you can just click on it to copy it and place it right here. All it does is it just copies the length of the note and also the pitch and you can place it on whichever marker you want so here we go so it copies the pitch and the length as well if I wanted to make it like lower or something or still higher pitched Keep in mind, this this centerpiece, this is always where the bass note is, where it was originally recorded with. So. Okay, this is something very basic. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because you can literally just go into hours and hours of just trying to make a melody. Not hours, but it, it takes a little while if you really want to find something you really like. Um, it's a great method though, and I'm going to just go ahead and apply all the um, same um, the inserts, or the mixer plugins here. So I use Control L to link the selected track and make sure it's on insert one and make sure the track that you want to put the, um, the um, effects on, you have to have it highlighted on the channel rack. I did this in my previous video as well as far as um, describing which presets I like the best um, for vocals um, that make it sound relatively professional or at least nice in some sorts. Okay, so you remember what it sounded like before and now with the same presets I used in my previous video. Okay, I'm not going to go through here and explain which ones are the best for which reasons because that would be um, a lot of time. Alright, so this is what it sounds like now. Obviously, it sounds a lot better. Okay, so that is your first technique. Your second technique is going to come down to using individual notes and using them like you'd be using a regular old um i don't know what's it like an instrument okay and what i mean by that is we're gonna cut out each note and you're gonna be able to actually hit keys with them make melodies a lot easier but the restriction is it's only that individual note and you don't have access to all the different notes like this now this method also is also really nice okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our open plugin or a plugin picker, right? We're going to open up this panel. We're going to go to Edison over here, all right? 
and we're going to drag it over on here. Okay? And just like the slice X, we're going to bring that audio clip in here. Okay? Um, same audio clip that I had was in audio clips and it was feeling good. All right, just going to drag it in on there. And we're just going to play it. And I'm feeling. All right, so if I like. I'm I'm going. If I hear something, I hear something over here that I kind of like. No, not that. You literally have to pick out and highlight which sound you really like. Okay. If I like that E right here, I just highlight it. And all you have to do is literally just hold the left mouse button and drag over to um, select it. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and hit the scissor button and literally trim it. And now you're just left with that part that you selected. Right? So now that you have that, we're going to save this and I'm going to call it E. All right. Um, and now that we have it as an E, E is usually a popular um, like vocal note to be used with most uh, EDM songs and trap songs as well. E's are pretty popular and so are O's and Ah's. And uh, I mean, there's plenty, don't get me wrong, but um, those are typically very popular. So I just chose one that was relatively in use. So we use the same exact um, folder that we grabbed uh, of regular audio clips from and I saved it under there as E and I just dragged it over just like before okay I'm gonna put this in the pattern too and now that we have just this sliced audio you can use it as a whole piano roll some reason it comes out a little bit um, when it comes out onto the actual piano roll it doesn't sound like it so I might have to go an octave higher nope I guess not And now I'm going to place it into the same channel rack. I mean, the same uh, mix pattern over here in the master mixer. Okay, so. <laughs> So yeah, you can't really use the keyboard to go by judgment, but what you can do is kind of sound it out with each um, like this. So if you click on each note, now you have some sort of relative um, distinction as to where you're placing these notes instead of using the sense recognition on the fine pitch sample that we were doing earlier over here. Go back to fine pitch and you see how this is in sense? Yeah, so it's a little bit easier to manage just the individual notes. Um, this is a really good way to go. Um, and there's plenty more of uh, different like ways that you can go about using these things and fine tuning each of your samples to sound however you want it to sound. But as far as vocal chopping, those are the, like the two primary types of ways to really chop your vocals.
basically it guys um, you can go ahead and change however you want to make it with these things um, as far as the vocal samples go if you want to make it a little bit more like uh, trap style or EDM style you can like literally go over and click on your sample go over to the wrench hit the porta and the, and the mono and it will make like this slide sound <laughs> it guys i hope you enjoy the video that's me messing around with it and giving you guys a demonstration on how to really bend and play with the vocals here so i hope you find it informational if you like the video want to see more like this please hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this um the like button really does help me into persuading me into which video I want to make next and what kind of direction I want to go to. So it's based on what you guys want to see. So definitely leave some fe feedback. That would be much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching.